Once you've got your MIDI, or you can do this with your keyboard, the next critical step is to be able to record just freestyling playing some notes. Because what if you get some great ideas in your head and you can just hear the music, but you can't figure out the, all right, do I click right here? Do I move it up here, down here? It can be kind of hard to match what I've got in my head to pulling these pulling these notes over here like this. I'm, I'm checking the volume here. So uh, what works for me is to just bang on that MIDI and to kind of get out what I've got. And then I can at least learn from the MIDI kind of where my notes are and what kind of thing I've got going. And then I could try and make that into a rack. I've got lots of options. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I want to do is just make a new pattern. So we're going to call this uh, MIDI trial or uh, sure, whatever, we'll call it mini trial, it doesn't matter. So you see, I've cleared the piano roll. So now if I scroll down, I've still got my original pattern one, but I scroll up here with the mouse and now I've got my mini trial two on here. So I've got a blank slate to start with again. Now what I want to do is just record in one of these at once. So I've got the mixer master open right here. So this is what's called the mixer master. So this little button here is the piano roll over here. And then that's the plugin. I've got the channel rack up here. And, and then what I've got, this is the mixer master. So these are the basic windows over there. And then the playlist is down here on the bottom. So I'm actually not going to need the piano roll right now because what I'm gonna do is use the playlist and the mixer master in here to do this. So what I want to do, the goal of this video, I want to put a custom played track into the playlist here and then be able to export the playlist. That's the point of what I'm doing on this. So what I want to do is record into a track on this playlist using my MIDI and just play it and then export that. And the nice thing, once I've got that, I can use that to put songs together how I want. I can make a little drum roll in this beat. I can mix things up. I can make a song that way. So more than likely, one part, if you're gonna make a song, you're going to need to be able to do it custom or it'll help to be able to do it custom to just play it out what you're feeling instead of having to put everything in here. So if you wanna be able to do that, to me, this is the second main way to get a recording done. So there's a few key steps to this. So first, the mixer master, what I'm doing right now, it's basically on the main track. It's on the master. So I don't wanna record on the master. What I want to do is use the mixer master here. I want to record on, the, on a specific track. So we're gonna use this plugin again, and I'm gonna set this, I scroll over here to set this at five. So I'm setting this on track five on the mixer master. So I'm recording into track five. It's then going, uh, it, it's then over here. I can process it if I want, and then it goes to the master. So what I need to do on track five over here, I need to hit track five for my line in. That way on my MIDI, I've got my line in. So when I play something, it'll be recorded into this fifth track. So. I've got it there, so I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm gonna grab my MIDI. So we're gonna do this together here. I encourage you, anything I'm doing, just give it a try if you can, because that's how you learn. So I'm gonna take the keyboard over here and now I've got everything ready to go and I've practiced this for several times before. That doesn't mean it's gonna go right, but we'll see what happens. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit record. Now look at this scary pop-up will come up. What the, what, what do you wanna do right now? And I'm like, well, I don't know, what do I need to do? What I do, I use audio into the playlist as an audio clip. So I hit that and you'll see it gives me, it starts recording. So now. There we go. So I've recorded that. You can see I just banged around on the keys a bit. And now what I'm going to do, I wanna go back and play that through. So let's hear that. Oh, isn't it amazing? Oh, well, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, look at that, that's got a nice like math to it. 
There, so I just made some sounds. I just literally banged on the keyboard. And now it's set, it'll keep playing that back over. So I hit stop. So it gave me a little countdown. This three second countdown, it gave me a little countdown before I went live. So uh, there's a warning that I'm gonna record. So then you can turn that off if you don't want the countdown. So I used my MIDI, I played this out here. And then what I want to do, I want to be able to export this. Now what you can do is put all these things together. So if you make a little drum loop, you can essentially paint that in there. So let's do a little quick drum loop here. We're gonna just do real quick and simple and we're gonna hit that repeat to get it to play. So we got a nice little simple drum loop in here. So now we can go actually paint that little drum loop in here on another track. So I, I put the recording in right there. So I can then, I can go put my loop into another track right here. So once I've got the, I've got the other track in here, then you see, now watch if I play it now. All right, so how cool is that? So now I can literally just paint the drum loop next to it and I'll watch this. And there, I can leave it blank for a minute. Now look at that. I can go drop a drum loop in there now. We got a drum loop to start. And then the drum beat comes back in for a minute. It goes back out. Look at that. We're making a song right here, right now. Look how easy this is. Isn't this crazy? And then I can just drop a drum loop in every other thing if I want to. And you get the idea from here. I can just, I can make a full song using this little playlist setup. And the drum beat comes in every four seconds. And then, I mean, I can move it around. I can have all kinds of fun with it. So I've got the essentials done of the, these are the core functions of being able to make a song. You play, record it in there, and then you put your loops in there. You see, in order to do it, I had to go over to pattern clip sources and hit my same drum pattern I'm using over here. So then for my recording, I go back over here to untitled recording. Let's say if I did another recording, I could go put that recording back in and then delete that over there. So if you do multiple recordings, you can paint them all in the same playlist. Now the key thing to be able to do, you want to be able to render all this out together. So in order to do that, I'm hitting Control A to select everything I've recorded. And then I hit Control R. And now I do uh, first, I'll, I'll just call this first class recording song with drum loop. And I'm trying, I'm starting to call it exactly which thing I used because this is helping me then to remember exactly what it is. So I'll go back in here. When I see exactly which one I used, then I can go use it again. So I bring up the morphine. I see I've got the LED acid synth down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit Control R now. I'm gonna paste that in. First class recording song with drum loop and morphine LED acid synth and you see. So that way, if I come back later and I'm like, man, that's a really sick sound, I know where to go back in. I know I need to go back in. I need to use a kick drum loop and I've got a morphine LED acid synth. Now you can save each individual project as well so that you can go back in and literally start from where you picked up. Or if you're going to make a lot of recordings, you can just save it like this. So I hit save now. Now you'll notice before when we rendered, before we use this pattern on here, we used a pattern because that's that allowed us to just take our drum beat and put it in there. But now what we want to do is use song selection. We want the actual song we recorded to be used. So then what I do is hit start. I've got that done. Now check this out. I'll hit play. Got the drum beat coming in. And I have a song file ready to go. I've got a drum beat in there. Look, can you believe with no musical capability. I'm able to just make this so quickly. So I'm doing this, I hope you see this is super easy stuff to put these things together. So you see how easy that was? Just sat there, rendered it out, 
And now I've taken, I've done this over a series of a couple of weeks since I made the very first videos. I've played around, I've watched another course, and I've learned a little bit every day. So I'm really excited to share this with you. I hope you see the possibilities. You can build these things out as deep as you want. You can have 15, 20, all these different elements in here to make a great song. So thank you very much for watching this, and I hope you're enjoying the class.